Hey, Noah. What up, Noah? Hey, Ryan and Charmaine. How are y'all? What's going on? Good. We good, are good. awesome. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Good morning from Chicago. I love Chicago. It's a great city. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's okay, cold so, right now. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the show. The show, you know, Black Ink Crew Chicago is in uh, the fifth season. So, you know, share with us um, what are fans going to be in for when they watch the new episodes? Because, you know, it's returning with new episodes. So tell us what fans are going to get to see. Well, uh, we're going to Miami, which would usually be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're traveling with, you know, drama, um, mm. it will get to you. So I think that it definitely got to me. And this episode, you see me kind of really open up to the guys on how I'm feeling with my place with the shop. So it's interesting. Mm. How about for you, Ryan? Um, man, look, <laughs> I feel like um, <laughs> people are going to see more in depth about how, you know, I want the vision of my brand to be seen. Um, mm -hmm. I've always had a vision for it, but through the ups and downs of, uh, you know, friendships and, you know, heartache and hardships, um, you know, it hadn't been able to have been executed in the last place. So when they see me leave uh, the, the old shop and then go into my new one, you know, people can see how I want things to be done. Ryan, I want to also touch on this, too. In the season of Black Ink Crew Chicago, we're going to be seeing you putting yourself first professionally and uh, personally um, as you're a single guy now. You know, there's been a lot of buzz going on uh, of TV host Wendy Williams as she's reclaiming her new life as a single woman. So, you know, what advice would you give to others that are going through a breakup, uh, maybe went through something similar that you went through, or divorce? Because let's be honest, it's not easy to go through. Um, so what advice would you give them to help get them through it? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like anybody going through, whether it be a breakup or a divorce or something mm -hmm. relationship-wise, uh, you've got to put yourself first in happiness. Uh, a lot of people don't do that because they're trying to please somebody else, trying to please people on the outside. Um, but me, I had to, like I said, I had to, uh, outside of business, of course, I had to go back to the drawing board on my relationship, you know, um, and mm -hmm. see what was wrong with me that um, that I wasn't executing what I needed to do, you know, so, uh, but a lot of that too was me not doing things that would be happy just for me. So I guess I feel like anybody who's in any situation, you know, I mean, we only here for a limited amount of time in life. So why wouldn't you put yourself first and be happy? Uh, so after that, I mean, any relationship that's meant for you is gonna find you, you know what I mean? Or it'll fall in your lap. So mm -hmm. I would say, if anything, you know what I mean, make sure you happy first and then, you know, put yourself first and then you can find somebody that's ready to go along with that. Mm -hmm. That's right. I totally agree with you, Ryan, because being, uh, loving yourself first is really everything. You know, it's the key to success with the things that you want to do in your life. And yeah, despite all the things that we see happening during the show, I personally cannot believe the show's been on for five seasons because I love this show. You never know what's gonna happen. It's juicy one moment and then ba boom, you know, it's like, what, did that just happen? You know? <laughs> so um, what has been one of your most memorable or favorite moments from five seasons so far? Um, I'd, I'd probably say when it uh, comes to Charmaine and myself, um, I think if you go back to like the second or third season, you see us really connect. And, um, you know, Charmaine was going through uh, a time where she felt like she might be embarrassed about some things that happened that, you know, are a reality for a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. It was that like her car was about to be repossessed or mm -hmm. she, um, she had to tell her parents that she wasn't working in the field of what they paid for her college for, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. And in that sense, mm -hmm. you know, I just felt like I had to be there for her, you know what I mean? And in every aspect to show that, hey man, if you say you're gonna be about this, then I'll show you I'm rocking with you. Uh, from that, that allowed for us to grow closer and it allowed for her to understand like, man, People go through real things, you know what I mean? When she was going through that, she thought it was the worst, but 
I've been through a repossession before. It wasn't that bad. You know, so yeah. they either don't take it or they not. You know, so, uh, uh -huh. you know, I've been ducking and dodging a repo man before. So, I mean, it's, it's all right. You will be okay. Yeah, yeah, I will never forget that. I think that was my favorite moment as well. Ryan totally hit it on the head because I was just so embarrassed and I was sick. And Ryan was like, I was like, my car is about to get repossessed. And he's like, have you ever been homeless? And I was like, uh, you know, what? so no. he just really uplifted me in the sense of, you know, people go through things and, yeah. you know, he was definitely there for me. So, you know, with with things like that, that's what true friendship is and what real friends are. So that's yeah, definitely that's one right. of my favorite moments, too. Be sure to catch Black Ink Crew Chicago. It airs Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time only on VH1. Thank you so much, Ryan Henry and Charmaine Walker for joining me this morning from Chicago. It was a pleasure to speak with you both. No problem. Thank you, Thank you so much, Noah. Take care. All right. Talk soon. Bye, guys. See ya.